Good morning and welcome to Sorel Bea Yoga. I'm so happy that you're here with me today, whether you're practicing in the morning or in the evening, whatever time. This is going to be the second video to our Healthy Spine series that we're doing together. So I'm really excited that you're here. And let's just get right into it. Keep it nice and short and sweet. That way you can fit this in even amongst your busy day. Hop onto your mat or whatever you have, if it's just a blanket or your rug, and I recommend a block or two. And let's, let's have some fun. So start coming to a comfortable seat. I also recommend sitting on a block. That way it can elevate the hips so your hips are higher than your knees. And start to close your eyes. Just noticing how your body is today, how your mind is today. If you feel really distracted or pulled in so many different directions. For this little bit of our practice, see if you can keep your focus here in this moment on your mat, practicing being present. With each breath in, seeing if you could feel it more of your back body as well as your front body. And then see if you can fill up even the sides of your body so the rib cage starts to really expand outwards. And taking a deep breath in through the nose, feel yourself grow a little taller. Exhale it out. Inhale again. Exhale it out. Inhale again. Let it go. And let's start to move into our ujjayi pranayama. So bringing the breath in through the nose and out through the nose. Feeling your lips in through the nose. Gentle constriction at the back of the throat, out through the nose. Remember that Darth Vader sounding breath in through the nose. Out through the nose. And let's take three more like that. And breathing in. Breathing out. Breathing in, breathing out, and hands coming to your heart center, giving them a little rub, rubbing, 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 placing them over the eyes, filtering some light through the fingers, fluttering the eyes open, releasing your palms by your thigh. Happy October, spooky season, uh, one of my favorite times. It's absolutely beautiful here in the desert. I love it. And it makes me want to practice outside with you even more. Yes. Inhale, reach your arms up, really focusing in on that spine today. Exhale, hands to heart center. Inhale, open your arms nice and wide. Feel the shoulder blades squeeze together on your back. Spread your fingers. Reach them up and hands to heart center. Okay, a little bit more fluid three more times. Inhale, open. Exhale, hands to heart center. Inhale, open. Exhale, hands to heart center. Inhale, open. Exhale, hands to heart center. Good. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. And then bring your arms out, making like a T with your arms, but then pressing your palms away like there's a wall on each side of you and there's active resistance happening in the arms. Already start to engage that core, strong core. Breathe in. With your exhale, you're gonna draw your hands forward, round your back here, chin into chest, and still keep pressing that imaginary wall with your fingers. Inhale, open, lift the heart, lift the chest. Exhale, round. Inhale, open. Exhale, round. Inhale, open. Exhale, round. Inhale, open. Exhale, round. One more, inhale, open. Exhale, round. And release your hands onto the thighs. We're going to take five shrugs here, shrugging the shoulders up and down. Up and down. Up and down. Two more. Up, down, up, down. Good. 
down. And then taking three circles in the neck to the right and then three to the left. Nice and smooth. Noticing if there's any tightness in the neck. Try to breathe into those areas. We hold a lot of tension in our neck and our shoulders. Making sure to switch and go the opposite direction, balancing out the sides of our body. And then coming back through center. Now we're going to take mermaid legs. So keep your left leg just how it is and then take your right leg and swivel it back behind you like this. So almost like you have two triangles. One, two. Good. Hands are going to reach up. Exhale, you're going to twist to your left, taking that left hand back behind you. Stay up on fingertips. Right arm catches the outside of that left leg. And once again, twisting from the navel. So you're really engaging the spine here. It's like the spine is going around a pole or a rod. And you're getting this nice rotation. Even a nice openness in that left hip should be happening. Not should be, but might be. Staying here for three. Two, one, come back through center, and then take your left hand and crawl it off to the side, maybe coming onto the forearm as you reach the right arm up and over. Try to find some lift, though, in that right side so that you're finding this little rainbow shape underneath the left side of your rib cage here. Maybe take the gaze up for three, two, one, inhale back through center, exhale, hands down, switching your mermaid legs. So now left leg is coming back behind you, right leg is in front. Inhale, hands reach up. Exhale, twist to your right, taking your right fingertips back behind you. Remember, stay up on those fingertips to find some lift in the front of the body. Keep drawing that right shoulder back, twisting again from the navel, and actively use that left hand to draw you a little deeper into that twist. Lift the chin for three, two, one. Inhale back through center. Exhale, right hand crawls off the mat. Stay like this, or maybe come on to the forearm as your left arm sweeps up and over. For three, two, one. Inhale up. Nice. Okay, ready? Let's find our tabletop position. As you get to your tabletop, curl your toes, sit back on your heels, and as always, work out those wrists. Mine are extra cracky today. <laughs> Don't know why. Maybe it is because of the weather change. I feel like my, my joints are changing as I get older. <sighs> oh, time. What an illusion. Okay, enough of that. Coming back to your tabletop. Inhale, lift the heart, lift the chest. Exhale, round. Inhale, lift. Exhale, round. One more just like that. Inhale, lifting, arching the back. Exhale, rounding. And now we're going to add on a little bit. So you're taking circles here to the left and then lowering the hips down almost to like an up dog, but then take the hips back to the right. And keep going. Take two more this direction. Try to work over into the wrists so that they get some circles too. And then go the opposite direction to those same three times, lowering the hips, really waking up the spine, waking up the wrists, and then find your child's pose, big toes together, knees wide, resting the forehead down, bring some activation into the arms and the hands, so keep your fingers, lift those elbows up, and then roll the shoulders back onto the back. Breathing. Inhale, come up to your tabletop. Start to walk your hands forward a little bit, about a hand forward. So that way your wrist is not underneath the shoulder anymore. And then walk your hands over to the left. Release the neck and head. Keep pressing your hips to the right. And then press the hips back. So now you're in a child's pose twist or side body stretch. Inhale, lift the hips, crawl the hands all the way over to the right, 
Staying with the hips lifted at first, pressing your hips to the left. So you're getting the side body stretch in the left side, and then lower the hips down, side body stretch in your child's pose. Really nice for the spine. You'll notice any imbalances here, any soreness, as well as in the hips. But that's what we're, we're giving them a little massage. A little release. Come back up through that child pose, table top. Good. We're going to start to lower all the way onto our belly. And rest your forehead down. Crawl your hands off the mat. TP your fingers. Hug your feet together and don't let your feet lift off. So your feet are still against the mat. Elbows up. Inhale. Lift the upper body up. Wide cobra. Exhale. Lower. Inhale. Lift nice and fluid. Head is last. Exhale. Lower. Inhale. Lift. Pause at the top. Notice the glutes. Relax the glutes. Feel the back now. Exhale, lower. Okay. Okay, interlace your palms at your lower back. If that doesn't feel good in the shoulders, just catch opposite forearms or maybe opposite elbows. Inhale, lift the upper body up. Locust pose, Shalabhasana. For three, two, one, lower the forehead. Inhale, lift again, maybe this time hovering the feet up. Exhale, lower. One more time, inhale, lift everything up, lift those thighs, squeeze your glutes, soften the face. Lift your hands for three, two, one, lower down. Okay, we're going to take this funky stretch, and if it doesn't work for your body, that is a-okay. I recommend having a block. If you don't have one, that's okay, or even a blanket, and we're going to rest our forehead on it. But first, you're going to cross the left arm in front of the right. And if you're a little confused, you can see what I'm doing here. And then you're going to bring the head down onto the block. So you're getting a lot of space created in between the shoulder blades. Inhale, lift the head, switch. So now the right arm is coming in front of the left, and you're crossing all the way up at the biceps, if possible. So like you're really reaching for the outer edges of your mat. Inhale, coming up. I apologize if that got noisy. The microphone got caught on my arm. Okay, we're going to move that block out of the way. Inhale, find your tabletop. Exhale, downward facing dog. Pedal it up. Spread your palms. Rotate the biceps outwards. Release the head and neck. Mm, breathing here. Feeling the spine, feeling the hamstrings, everything's waking up. Okay, gaze forward, step to the front of your mat. Inhale, we're going to halfway lift. I recommend if you have your blocks, using your blocks, one underneath each hand. Squeeze the shoulder blades together, find that nice flat back, and try to feel that engagement in the hamstrings. So you're having a micro bend in the knees as the sit bones are pressing back. I know a lot is happening here. You got me, though. I'll keep reminding you. <laughs> Exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. And then this time in your fold, keeping your hands on your blocks, you might need to maneuver them. Remember, these blocks are just an extension of your hands. Take the right leg back. Good. Crawl the blocks back. Bring your hands back. And then notice your low lunge, your Anjani Asana here. If the knee is really, if that back knee is really far back from the hip, we're going to bring it right underneath the hip. So shortening your stance here. Then inhale, reaching hands up. 
drawing the pinkies forward, staying for three, two, one hand come down, lift that back knee, step forward, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Now stepping left leg back, member blocks move with you. Notice that back knee. We're going to, for right now, keep the back knee right under the back hip. So might need to shorten the stance here. Inhale, rise up, low lunge. Really notice a tuck of that tailbone so the left glute is super engaged. Sometimes I even have to bring my hands to like find that tuck rather than an arch. And then hands reach up for three, two, one. Hands come down. Step forward, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Really focusing on the spine. Nice flat back. Try to Limit the rounding happening in the spine. Exhale, fold. Inhale, rise up, reach up. Exhale, hands to heart center. Close the eyes. Take a couple breaths here. Soften the face. Feel the belly, feel the thighs. Feel the warmth already accumulating in your body. That beautiful feeling of being alive with all that prana, that life force moving throughout us. Inhale, open your eyes, reach up. Exhale, fold. Halfway lift. Good, okay, I'm gonna move my blocks out of the way. It's up to you if you wanna keep yours as we step back to our down dog. Inhale, come forward, high plank. If you need to come onto your knees, we're gonna be headed that way anyway. Lowering onto the knees. Then lowering onto chin and chest. Inhale, baby cobra. Exhale, lower forehead. Inhale, tabletop. Exhale, downward facing dog. Three breaths. Audible inhale. Audible exhale through the nose. And think of lifting the sit bones to the sky. Long spine. Keep pressing your heart towards your thighs. One more inhale. Stay for the exhale. Next inhale, gaze forward, stepping to the front of your mat. Maybe grabbing your blocks again, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, rise up, reach up, circling the arms. Exhale, hands to heart center. Good. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, folding back to the blocks. Halfway lift. Stepping back again with that right leg. Good. And then this time, keep back knee lifted. Stay with your hands on the blocks, though. Draw the heart forward. Keep bending into that front knee, really activating that glute and that thigh muscle. Holding here, finding that nice stretch. And then we're going to bump back leg up a little bit. Straighten our front leg and finding our pyramid shape. Keep a micro bend in that front knee though. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold, drawing left hip back. So trying to keep the hips nice and square. And you might need to move around the blocks to find that sweet spot for your body. Releasing the back of the neck and head. Notice the spine here, notice the neck. Soften the neck. Awareness to the spine. Squaring off the hips will really help balance out the spine. Keep pressing through that back heel. For three, two, one. Stepping your blocks forward, forward full. Till the right foot comes forward. Halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Left foot steps back. Keep the back knee lifted this time. Remember, move your blocks if you need to. Keep bending into that front knee, finding a generous stretch in the front of that left thigh. 
opening up the heart, pulling the navel up. Soften the shoulders. I forgot to mention it too. I like to take little rocks here, forward and back. Feels really good. And then we're going to step back, foot forward a little bit. Straightening out our front leg, keeping a micro bend in the knee though, so we don't lock out in the joint. Halfway lift here, flat back, squeeze those shoulder blades. Exhale, fold, and use your blocks. And use your hands, like you can actively bring one hand to your back and your hips and feel that right hip, pull it back. Draw it so it's right in the same alignment as the left hip. If you need to lift up the back heel a little bit, please do, don't force yourself into any shape. really is just practice. If your body's giving a lot of resistance, don't force it. Ease it into shapes. Love it into shapes. <laughs> It'll appreciate it and work with you a lot better. Staying here for three, two, one. Forward fold, left leg steps forward. Halfway lift. Exhale fold. Okay, from here, widen your feet as wide as your mat or wider. And we're going to take a yogi squat malasana, your choice if you would like to sit on a block. It can be pretty chill. <laughs> you don't have to, though. Wherever you're at, I really want you to focus on lifting the heart up, pressing your arms into the legs, and notice the spine here. We're not rounding a whole bunch. Lots of lift and length. Lots of engagement of our spine, our beautiful, beautiful spine, carries us every day, it needs this little love, extra attention. And staying for three, as you can see, I'm rocking side to side, if that feels good, and try it out, two, one, hands come down. If you're on your block, just move it out of the way. Step left foot back, lower left knee down. So you're in, the, the front foot is pointed out, so you're in a lizard shape here. If you want to bring the block underneath the arms or the forearms, please do. And now the shoulders are rounding here. It's a, purposely allowing them to round as you relax the upper part of your body and really work into that hip on the right. And the front of the left leg too. Relax the neck and head. And you can play here with opening that right leg and pressing it out so you can see the sole of the right foot. Whatever works. If it's part of your practice, to bend the back knee and catch that back foot with the opposite hand or your strap if you have it. Please don't feel like you can't do that. Go ahead and try it out if you'd like. And if you don't want to, you don't have to. And gently release. Come back up onto the hands if you're on the forearms. Step left foot outside of left hand. Right foot steps back, lower right knee down. The right toes are, or the left toes are pointed out as we find our lizard shape on the opposite side. Same thing on this side. If you want to grab a block to rest your hands on or forearms, please do. And the side might be different. It might be a little tighter, or you might be able to take it into a, a little bit of a deeper lizard, where maybe you open up the sole of that left foot like a book, and you press the left leg away. You just feel here though what feels good and you can always try stuff and then be like, eh, I take it back and come out of it. And I do that all the time. And then if you took that bent knee and reached back for the back foot on the other side, go ahead and take it on this side too. Open the heart, open the chest. And gently release. This time, come onto the hands, and we're going to step left foot back to meet right. Inhale, lift the heart, lift the chest, lower the thighs. A little variation here of up dog. If it's a lot in the back, lower the chest down, bend the arms. If this is okay, stay with the heart lifted. 
for three, two, one, lower the forehead. And then rolling all the way onto your back. Now I'm going to give options here. Stay like this, just flat on the back and draw the right knee into your chest. Or if you have a pillow, a bolster, or a block, sliding it underneath the lower back and the glutes and draw the right knee in. See what feels good, starting to close the eyes. I'm just breathing here. Slowing back down. Checking in, seeing how you're feeling now. After getting all that stagnant energy moving and grooving. I know you did not sign up for a concert. It's, it's free, it's included. You're welcome. <laughs> and then switch sides. Right leg extends, left leg draws in. Relax the toes, softening the legs. Relaxing the belly, and the hips, the arms, the facial muscles. And if you're on the block and if it feels okay to extend both legs out, try it. And if you're not on the block, still extend both legs out. So now you're completely lying flat on your back. And everyone stay either on your block or come all the way onto your back for your final resting shape. Whatever feels good. And take any last minute movements your body is asking for, your practice needs that allow you to feel complete and ready for a little bit of rest. And when you make your way onto your back, ready for your Shavasana, taking a deep breath in, filling up the whole body. Hold it in, see if you can fill up a little bit more, a little bit more. Hold it, hold it, hold it. And sigh it out. <sighs> Allowing yourself to rest here for at least five to ten minutes or more. And each time the mind starts to wander, bring it to somewhere else in the body where you'd like to soften a little bit more, release a little bit more tension. Breathe there, bring your focus there, building that connection between mind, body, and breath. And this is where I leave you. Thank you so much for being here with me today. And let me know in the comments if this really is helping with your spine. I'll keep doing them. I plan on doing a few more for sure. But maybe this will be a regular thing. I think we all need a little extra love for our spine. And if you have any questions, concerns, other requests, please leave those in the comments. I want you to feel like your voice is heard as well. Thank you and namaste. Thank you.